What is up YouTube and all my fish keeping friends? How is everybody doing out there in fish tank land? Today I want to share with you guys my Nano Blue Tetras again. Uh, I've been working on these guys for about a year since I collected them when I was in Peru with uh, Corey McElroy, Dean Tweedell, and Dwayne Kitchell, Michael Barber, a bunch of other people uh, in Go Wild Peru. That was super awesome. I know you guys can check out those videos. I got links to the cards above if you want to see them. These fish have been so much fun to breed, uh, to watch them, all their courting behaviors, how they spawn. Just this morning, I got to see a female spawning on the underside of some duckweed. I literally just had tears in my eyes because I've been waiting to actually see this uh, with my own eyes. I ran to grab the camera when I came back, she was done already. So uh, eventually, I will get some footage of that. I'm really looking forward to it. So let's not waste any more time. Let me take you guys into the other room and I will show you my Tetra spawning tanks that I have going on now. I have two of them and we're gonna go ahead and set up a third one and we'll get a little colony of Tetras in there and get them going. So right here on the top row, I have uh, these three tanks which are designated for the blue Tetras. Uh, this is the original tank that I started out with when they came in from Peru. Uh, there's plenty of uh, fry up here at the circus and we'll take a closer look and you get to see those. Uh, this is tank number two and I do have fry uh, at the top here. They're definitely uh, breeding in this tank as well. And then we have the third tank which I'm gonna go ahead and set up with you guys right now. Uh, so I wanna take you guys a little closer so you guys can see everything that's going on here and how I set up these spawning tanks. Uh, so uh, this tank here is a good example. This is the second tank. You see that I have a little wall in there and that's to hold the hornwort back and it holds the duckweed back. Uh, if you look at the top of the tanks, you look at the surface here, you'll see the duckweed is held back to the back side of the tank. You see that in that tank as well. And I've also replicated it a third time here. Uh, so that's gonna hold everything back. That, the sponge filter is on the back side as well, so uh, any flow that would be created is kept on that side. So it creates this nice little surface tension. You can see air bubbles up at the top. And if you're lucky, you'll see some fry in there up at the surface, but I don't know if we're gonna get that lucky without the tripod but um, there's definitely fry up at the surface. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the two of the females that are a little bit larger out of here, and then um, I'll pull out some other males as well, and we'll make a little colony of about 12 uh, fish over in this tank. But you set up the same way with this little gate up here at the top, and it's not quite to the surface. Uh, it's just holding back the duckweed and holding back the hornwort and just a little bit of some wasser tang. I've got some water sprite that I'm playing with. We'll let that grow up. That'll turn into a weed eventually. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and net out a colony of the Tetra out of tank number two. And uh, I really don't like to put anything in these tanks for the most part. I really, really, I treat a lot of these fish with respect and I only put uh, tools or my hands in the tank when it's really necessary. I think that is one of the keys to being able to spawn these in a colony and have it work. I have surface tension that I've created on the surface of the water here. Uh, I have something special going on here and me just putting a net in here is going to mess the whole thing up just a little bit. But we're going to do it anyways. <laughs> so let's see. I know I'm going to scare these fish into the back probably and that's when I'm gonna have a problem so I'm gonna try to get uh, I'm gonna be a little fast the first swoop uh, to get as many of these adult fish as possible the first go around before I scare them into the back corner and I have to fight through hornwort and duckweed to catch fish Okay, I've definitely made a mess, but I, I did get a little group of fish here, so we're getting somewhere. I'm trying to go ahead and rinse this net out well, just in case I got some fry in here. Another thing about these fish is they are very fragile. Uh, you cannot handle them with your bare hands. It will kill them, uh, so I pretty much have to be very delicate with getting them uh, with the net lightly and into the other tank very quickly. So I made a little bit of a mess. I mucked things up just a little bit, not too badly. 
Uh, there's still a bunch of fry up here that are still happy, uh, but um, I pulled out a big chunk of the colony that was over here. I left about four, I think four or five adults over here, honestly. Uh, I got a nice little group of fish over here now in the new tank, so we can try to see if I can recreate this spawning technique for the third time, for the third time, 3.0 over here and uh, just see what happens with this. I look forward to being able to recreate this over and over again and kind of share this technique and uh, see if this will work with other te tetras maybe uh, and other fish as well. Uh, just kind of utilizing uh, this screen to create a little bit of a wall, like a berm so to speak to uh, hold some of the floating plants and stuff back and just kind of create two separate environments. So there's kind of a, uh, a nursery on this end with uh, a little surface tension, less flow, pretty much no flow, and then uh, still having some uh, filtration, just a little bit of a sponge filter, uh, but it's a pretty mellow tank. So this is the first tank. I didn't touch this tank at all. Everybody's having fun in here. But the end goal with this tank is just to you know recreate what I've already done and just see if it works again, see if uh, there is a method to my madness. Uh, these are beautiful fish. I fell in love with them in Peru and uh, I really really wanted them and I have them and I'm really happy to have them breeding so well for me. So I'm really just trying to give these fish a nice balanced environment that'll work well uh, for uh, breeding. So these fish actually do something more of an internal insemination and then the female will take off by herself when nobody's looking and go spawn up in the uh, hornwort and then in the duckweed. I actually saw a female uh, earlier this morning go up here in the corner and go right up and lay on her side and put the eggs on the underside of the leaves of the duckweed, which was super awesome. I was really stoked to see that. But um, I just like the idea of using this uh, this net like gate or berm to hold everything back, and it still has a little bit of filtration. Uh, the new group is looking a little bit better. Once you put some food in the tank, they kind of forget about everything for a minute, anyways. But you can see how they can hide out in the back and get away from me, and they feel comfortable. Uh, they're not up in the top corner, they're still at the bottom chilling out, but they do know that they have a little bit of protection from me by being back behind and underneath all the hornwort and duckweed, uh, just as it would be in the wild. So uh, this is working out pretty well and I look forward to letting you guys know how the spawning turns out in this third tank and uh, the Tetra Spawning Tank 3.0. And uh, I'll also let you guys know how things work out with what looks to be two females and two males in here, which is actually pretty nice to uh, observe uh, courting behaviors because I don't have a big sc a school that I'm trying to keep track of. I can keep track of just the two males and two females and, and see what's going on and see how they uh, react to each other, how they treat each other. Uh, right now, you can see that the two females are definitely uh, kind of sparring with each other a little bit. It's interesting to watch that happen as well. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update of what's going on with the Blue Tetras. Uh, this new tank, I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to be splitting uh, these colonies now into three different colonies. Uh, and we'll probably go to a fourth colony as well. Just want to kind of recreate this over and over again just to kind of prove to myself that this uh, that this technique is working for me uh, but thank you guys for watching I appreciate it thank you to all of my subscribers out there and thank you to all of you that like comment and share on all of my content it means so much to me and uh, remember guys keep your tanks clean your fish fed and have fun <laughs>